Hey everyone, I'm the Starman X, and welcome to my Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 Slime Guide. Before we get into it, I want to let you all know that Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 is available today for PS4 and 5, Xbox One Series X and S, Nintendo Switch, and Steam. So make sure you go pick it up today and browse your favorite characters from the Nickelodeon universe. At the time of recording this video, I have been given early access to the game, so everything here is subject to change. Without further ado, let's begin the tutorial. Slime is one of the new mechanics added into NASB2 and is easily one of the most important. With Slime, you are able to enhance your gameplay to another level and step up your game. First, let's go over the basics. Slime is granted whenever you attack or get hit by an opponent. There is a total of 3 bars that you can fill up, with the first one filling up pretty quickly, the second one filling up a little bit slower, and the third one filling up the slowest. With Slime, you are able to use different techniques that each have a different cost to use. Let's see what these techniques are. A quick thing to note before we start, to use Slime, you can either hold or press the Slime button to perform Slime actions. You'll know Slime is active if your character has Slime bubbles circling around them. Slime specials all cost 1 bar of Slime across the board. These are performed with Slime and Special. It allows you to use Slime to enhance any of your 4 special moves. For example, SpongeBob's bubble is very small but also pretty fast by itself. Utilizing Slime, however, he'll blow out 3 huge bubbles that can be great for going in and controlling the stage. Each character has different properties on their Slime specials, so make sure you try out each of them and see what works best for you. Next up, let's take a look at Slime Strong Attacks. Just like Slime Specials, you can use Slime to enhance your strong attacks as well. Performing this is basically the same as Slime Specials, but instead of pressing Special, you press the Strong Attack button instead. You'll know you did it right when your character flashes yellow while charging your strong attack. Slime Dashes are great ways to chase your opponent mid-juggle in order to get even more damage off your conversions. These are done with Slime and Dodge. You can do this in any of the 8 directions, but you can only do this mid-air. You can also act immediately out of this since this no longer counts as an air dodge. It can also be great to recover with as well, since it makes your character go just a bit farther than the normal air dodge, allowing you to reach the ledge. Slime can also be used with shields as well. If you have a shield up and hold a slime button, you can have your shield stop depleting while you're standing still. You can still take shield damage from attacks and get your shield broken, however it will negate all pushback from attacks, which is great by the ledge so you don't go into teeter. Keep in mind though, this will deplete your slime meter very, very fast, so make sure you use it wisely. One of the more advanced techniques with Slime is the Slime Cancel. Slime Cancels allow you to use a bar of meter to cancel your current attack into basically anything. To do this, press Slime during the recovery of your current attack. It will freeze your opponent for a few frames so you have some time to continue your combo. When you Slime Cancel, you'll go right back into your idle animation, which means you are freely actionable immediately afterwards. Keep in mind that your next attack won't be as strong, so don't try to finish with a strong attack unless your opponent is very close to the blast zone. Slime Burst is another great defensive way to use slime. These cost 2 whole slime bars, but it will halt any momentum you have after you get launched. To do this, press slime and shield at the same time after your character goes flying. This will halt any momentum you have and give you a chance to make it back to the stage. You can only do this while you're in any type of hit stun, so this can also be a great way for you to break out of combos if you're getting combo too much. Lastly, if you have all 3 bars of slime filled up, you can press slime and attack at the same time to unleash the super attack. These attacks are devastating finishers that deal a ton of damage and knockback. These can be blocked however and you will eat a big punish for it, so only use it when you know your opponent will least expect it. Each super also has a very unique animation too, so make sure you check them all out. Slime is easily one of the most creative ways to allow players to express themselves by how much it can be utilized. How you utilize slime is ultimately up to you though, and is the key to becoming a master in NASB2. That about wraps up the slime guy. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell notification to get updated for future videos. Also, follow me on Twitch! I stream fighting games and variety content usually every Friday through Sunday over at twitch.tv slash thestarmanx1. Keep shining bright like the stars that you are, and I'll see you all next time.